want you to be very, very safe because when there's a warning out, that means there could be a tornado somewhere in that warning box. And even if you're on the outskirts of this warning box here, which includes all of Warren or all of Allen County, it's Allen County that's under the tornado warning, even if you're on the northern fringe of this warning, there's still that potential for a, a tornado spin up. But really, right now, we're kind of focused in on this area from Red Hill down to uh, New Row around the uh, Pleasant Ridge Church area, Rotomer. That's where we're dealing with some of that more significant rotation. So, right now, we're at 12 of 38. And the morning is due to expire in about seven minutes here, but we're going to hang with you. We're going to get you through this. Again, Allen County, stay in your safe zone. Again, we're really focused in on these areas of a rotation here, and, and I think we just got a new radar update. If we can uh, move the radar. Okay, so now near the Adolphus area, that's where we do have that potential for a little bit of extra rotation. So this is along 482 in the southern. Again, this is southern Allen County. So even if you're over there towards the uh, Four Springs area, I want to say you're safe zone right now. But Adolphus right now, we're noticing some of that rotation when you see the greens next to the reds. This is high up in the atmosphere, but it's still uh, significant enough to where we may be facing that potential for a tornado on the ground. Dana, we don't have any reports of any tornadoes, do we? Right, I have not received any reports of any tornado on the ground or any reports of damage so far. But once again, I do have a lot of folks that are in Bowling Green, very worried that they are under that tornado warning. The warning that was for the very southeastern portion of Warren County has expired and moved out of the area. Everybody that is in Warren County and in Bowling Green is good to go to bed. All of the severe weather risk is now over. So, yeah, we had, I guess, an issue with the sirens. This is the reason why we always emphasize don't necessarily rely just on the sirens because we can have instances like this. Forties out, I guess. Parts of Allen County and especially around the Adolphus area to take cover. Stay in your safe zone right now. This is about to move over into Tennessee. This is the Allen County, Tennessee line here. So if you're actually watching us in Tennessee over there towards Turner Station or even uh, the Barefoot area, Rocky Mound, be aware that we don't have a tornado warning for you guys, but there's certainly some heavy yeah. rotation, significant rotation coming out of Kentucky, about to move on over into Tennessee. Can we get a look at that composite radar again? Yes. Because I've been actually finding that um, it is showing almost better structure than what I'm seeing on just regular Doppler. And while you're doing that, let me take a sip of water really quick here. Yes, well, just again, just to give some people some peace of mind, mainly for those folks that are positioned I-65 and point to the west for this evening, your severe weather threat is pretty much over as we look throughout the rest of the evening. Bowling Green, looking into Munfordville, parts of Beaver Dam, as well as Lewisburg, Russellville, Hopkinsville, even into Edmond Elkton, as well as uh, Greenville, Central City, you are all good to go to bed into Litchfield as well. That severe weather risk has decreased as that cold front has now lifted below your area for tonight. And it's interesting looking at this uh, this warning right now into Allen County. I was pointing out Dolphus where there's there is certainly a significant area of rotation. You guys, I don't even think, are technically under the tornado warning. It's like you're kind of on the fringe of it, but it looked like we were getting some rotation. And right now, Scottsville, much of Allen County, I think the tornado risk is starting to go down a little bit more. We certainly still have uh, this, this area is kind of leading this is the leading edge of the storm here, and there's certainly still some twisting motion in here as it continues to move on into Tennessee. But we're at 12.42 right now. We're going to give it the next three minutes. And if this warning is allowed to expire and we don't have another one issued for Tennessee, I think we'll be able to wrap up our, our coverage here. But, Dana, if you can zoom out a little bit more 
I want to give folks an idea of also what's heading on for you in uh, Tompkinsville, because we still have some very nasty weather over your way into Monroe County. If you can kind of kick the radar into motion here, and I give folks an idea, you can see towards Fountain Run, you're dealing with some pretty nasty weather right now. But yeah, and, and this is another reason why uh, th this warning was issued. This is the one thing you're noticing that's kind of interesting here. This moved really quickly to the southeast, and now with this, we're getting more of an easterly motion. So that's a sign that actually some of the rotation in this storm is aiding this a bit more to the east. And so you're not we're not out of the woods just yet into Allen County. It looks like, yeah, the rotation made is just to the south of the state line here. So in this general vicinity, but still even out there, if you're out there into eastern parts of Allen County, if we can get a really good zoom in, Dana here on, on eastern parts of Allen County. I just want to uh, point out a few areas. Amos over there towards Amos, even into uh, Acresville. Forest Springs, take cover. Stay in your safe zone right now. Let this pass on by Forest Spring. We're in the uh, tornado warning, and that continues for the next two minutes, but you're still dealing with some incredibly, uh, your strong winds, maybe in excess of 60 miles per hour here. And for folks who may be in some of those manufactured homes, you may have noticed how they've been kind of rocking around. And a lot of times we tell you, you want to you know, get out and seek shelter somewhere else. At this point, hunker down where you're at get into the best location you can be, which is going to be an interior closet or just the lowest level of a home away from windows, away from those outside walls. That's where we want you to stay. Hope you've been there since this warning came out. But Forest Springs right now, uh, certainly dealing with some very uh, nasty weather as we speak. I think it looks like, uh, Dana, if you back the map out, the data issue a severe thunderstorm warning in Tennessee for this, it looks like. I think they did. So I think the Nashville Weather Service may be saying that we have a severe thunderstorm warning more so for it. More, or actually, that looks like it's for that other storm. So right now, there is no warning in Tennessee for this storm as it uh, continues to move on. This, the heavier rotation, the more significant rotation continues to move on out of Kentucky into Tennessee. But it looks like the warning has expired, but we're still, we still won't leave you just yet. Uh, we want to wait to see if there's maybe any sort of extra warning added for portions of Tennessee. Looks like they're probably just going to stick with the severe thunderstorm warning. So Scottsville, things are still very nasty. Really all of Allen County dealing with this uh, nasty weather as the storm continues to race. In Monroe County, you'll still want to uh, Still want to make sure that you are in at least a you know safe location. We don't have any sort of a tornado warning, but obviously we did have a tornado warning with this, and this storm is now moving your way, and the weather is going to still remain pretty nasty. We've got another round of storms coming for you guys. So some folks have just been dealing with uh, multiple rounds of storms, and right now, yeah, we can see that we've just got that severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Allen County, and that actually extends all the way back into Monroe County. And really for southern Monroe County, including Tompkinsville, we've got that warning in effect. But again, you can kind of see the motion of these storms. This is just really booking to the south. This is moving more so towards the east. And that's because some of that rotation in the atmosphere was able to kind of allow this to, to spin up just a bit. So this, again, is out there in the Allen County. Here's Bowling Green, where we're looking good right now. And, and we've even just got a few lingering showers towards Franklin. And Dana, if you can expand the map once again further to the west, you can see that, yeah, all clear into uh, Logan County, Butler County looks good for you guys in Ohio County, Muhlenberg County, Hopkinsville into Christian County looks good. So the flood warning in effect for Munfordville, the flash flood warning in effect for Munfordville. We're also getting a little bit of a flooding around parts of a Barron and Metcalf County. We've got that flash flood warning in effect. So really right now, the bigger storms that we're watching here in Kentucky are down there into Allen County as well as Monroe County. So that 
once we get this out, that should wrap it up for us. But boy, we've had, it's been pretty rough for the last couple of hours here. We've just been dealing a lot of wind reports, a lot of folks without power. Do we have any uh, of the latest numbers on, on that, Dana? Any? Um, I will look at the current map and I will get back to you on numbers. Okay. So we, we've had thousands of power outages really all across the area and uh, I'm expecting them to just increase into uh, Monroe County, Allen County. Again, we're watching these uh, nasty storms as they continue to move into southern and southeastern parts of Allen County, Monroe County. Uh, things are starting to improve back there into Warren County. We've got one last little gasp of uh, showers to be moving through Warren County, and things are also improving into Simpson County as well. So we will continue to see these storms track out of the state over the next 30 minutes to an hour here. So those power outages from Warren RECC for Hardin County, there are seven customers out. Ohio County has 1.8 thousand customers out. Grayson County has 5.4 thousand customers out. Hart County has 77 customers out. Butler has 5.7 thousand out. Edmondson has 7.4 thousand out. Warren has 5 thousand out. And Barron has 480 customers out. So quite a few folks without power tonight. And then just the way it appears things are going on radar, if you could actually, if we uh, kind of move the radar over there towards Allen and, and Monroe County, um, and the way these storms look like they are trending, they are continuing to kind of bolt towards the southeast here, um, not seeing any additional areas of possible rotation, but, but still... These storms are affecting Scottsville and Tompkinsville. Those are two of the bigger uh, the cities between Allen and Monroe County. So you still got that potential maybe for some isolated hail and strong potentially damaging winds. But the tornado threat right now looks like it has subsided a bit. And even the lightning detection, it is starting to go down just a bit. So there isn't sign that these storms may be weakening but we may also be dealing with some flooding as well so with that being said i think we're going to now be able to kind of break from our live coverage feeling a little bit more confident that these storms are yes we've still got the severe thunderstorm warnings going for allen and monroe county but the tornado threat seems like it has almost completely dissipated for us. So Dana, how long did these warnings go for Monroe and Allen County? I will take a look at these warnings one more time. So we did have those severe thunderstorm warnings for that area until 1.30 a.m. Central Time. So about 40 more minutes on this okay. over there. All right, so we still have 40 more minutes, but we will uh, give you a brief updates on, on Facebook. We'll, we'll, we'll still stay here until the storms have expired, but if we would, for some reason, if there's some for some reason something else would pop up we would let you know right away but it appears just how these storms are trending now it looks like the tornado risk should be subsiding and i think what happened before is as this line was moving to the south along one little boundary this storm hit that boundary and when these storms hit what we refer to as boundaries or areas in which the wind is changing direction that's what can get it to spin up but now i think that's far enough to the south where uh, we wouldn't have any additional spin-ups as these storms continue to depart the state. So hang tough still if you're in Tompkinsville, Monroe County, and in Allen County. The storms are starting to maybe lose some of their their lightning flashes, which is a good sign. A little bit of weakening, but we still have some very heavy rain and likely some very strong winds. But with that being said, for Dana, for David, we're going to send it back to regular scheduled programming, and we will end this Facebook Live, but we will continue to bring you updates as the severe thunderstorms continue to kick out of the area. This is Tony David to command. We've reached the forward deck. There should be a stairway just left of where you are. Access to the bridge is three flights out. Tony David, roger that. Okay. 
Thanks. That was a detective at the house. He said the Pope Brothers run 